master trainer Amanda Brush and today I'm going to take you through one of my favorite at home ab workouts. So today we're going to start by focusing on our lower abs and then we're going to transition into a series of planks in order to work your entire core including your lower back. Before you begin this workout it's important that you warmed up for about three to five minutes and if I were you, I would find either a yoga mat or a blanket to put on the floor for your comfort during this workout. As we begin, what I want you to do is focus on engaging your core so that your lower back stays flat on the ground the entire time. This is super important during our lower ab workout. So lying back on the ground, our first exercise is a reverse crunch with a leg extension at the bottom. You're going to lift your hips up off the ground and then extend your legs out. Lift your hips off the ground and extend your legs out. The next exercise we're going to do is a leg lift. We're gonna place our lower hands under our back for support. And then you're going to extend your legs out and you're gonna lift them up and down, up off the ground about six inches in height. If this feels not great on your lower back, you can lift them up higher off the ground for support. Remember to keep breathing. And if you need to, lift them up higher to protect your lower back. Our next exercise is a supported in and out. With your fingers facing your toes, you're gonna to place your hands behind you. You're gonna lift both of your feet up off the ground and then you're going to extend out and come back together into a crunch. Extend back and come back together into a crunch. And for our last exercise, you're gonna lay back on the ground and we're going to lift our shoulders and feet up off the ground for approximately two seconds and then lower back down. You're gonna lift up and back down. Lift up and back down. Up and back down. You're gonna complete each one of these exercises 10 times, so 10 repetitions of each exercise three times through. And then we're going to move to our plank sequence. So coming into your plank position on your elbows, Feet extended back behind, back nice and flat. We're gonna hold here for one minute. Directly from here, you're gonna transition into a side plank with either your knee on the ground, your feet staggered or stacked, shoulder right over your elbow, and hold on one side. Then you're gonna to transition to the other side Again, same thing, knee down, option of staggered feet or stacked feet. And then you're gonna flip over for a reverse plank. Lifting up off the ground, really pushing up, pushing that chest up towards the sky, opening up the chest. And then our last plank, we're gonna add some movement. So you're coming back to the front, plank here, lift up, and you're gonna press up to your hands and then come back down to your forearms, switching sides as you go. For our planks, you're gonna hold each one for one minute and you're gonna repeat that segment through two times. This will work your entire core, starting with your lower body first, the lower part of your abs, and then moving into working your entire core, including your lower back. Have a great workout.